Hey ladies, today I thought it would be fun to try out some of the new drugstore mascaras that have been released. So I have three of them here that we are going to be trying today to see how they perform on mature eyes. Hey there, welcome if you are new. My name is Joy from the blog agingwellwithjoy.com. On my blog and on this channel, we discuss beauty, wellness, and a lot of makeup for the over 40 woman. If that's you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, the first one we're gonna be trying out is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Looks like this in the packaging. And they say that this lengthens, lifts, and volumizes. I have it in the shade 990 Blackest Black. And I am going to be curling my lashes before I try each one. All right, so this is what the spoolie looks like on this one. And let's see. Okay, so this is the first coat on my upper lashes. And now I'm gonna do a second coat on my upper lashes. All right, this is two coats on my upper lashes. And now I'm gonna do my lower lashes because I always do my lower lashes when I'm actually wearing mascara. And I like it whenever a mascara has a brush that I can use on my lower lashes as well. And this one does. Okay, so this is the final look for two coats of the um, L'Oreal Telescopic Lift in Blackest Black. I do like this mascara. I do think that this does really good job of separating your lashes. The spoolie end is easy to use. I don't know, um, it says it lengthens and volumizes, and I don't know that I really think it gives a lot of volume, but it definitely gives a nice lift and a lot of length. So, I do think that um, I like this. Now let's see how it compares to my next one, which is the Maybelline Falsies Surreal. And I have this one, I think I bought them all in the shades Blackest Black because that's what I like. Yes, this is shade 170 Blackest Black. Now this one says that this is an extension mascara. It says that it gives 36% additional length. So really supposed to lengthen your eyelashes almost as if you were wearing extensions. That seems like a pretty tall order to me, but let's give it a go and we'll see how it works. It's really pretty packaging. I actually really like this packaging. So this is what the brush on this one looks like. Not quite as thin as the L'Oreal, but um, same sort of brush. Okay, so curling this side. Okay, so this is with the first coat of the Maybelline Surreal. And I think, I mean, I like it, but it definitely doesn't separate your lashes as good as the L'Oreal. So if you can see the L'Oreal brush really separated the lashes and gave it a nice fanning effect. This one gives a little more drama, I think, but it doesn't separate your lashes very well. So I'm gonna do a second coat. And this is two coats of the Maybelline Surreal Falsies. So we've got the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift and the Maybelline Surreal Falsies. So my thoughts are, I love the drama that this one brings a lot. I like that it's black, it's more bold and that it shows up better. This one is a more natural looking look. It really fans your lashes and um, helps them to look 
just better naturally. So I think it's really gonna depend on what kind of lashes you like. If you like a more natural look, the L'Oreal Telescoptic Lift is probably gonna be the one for you. If you like more drama, the Maybelline Surreal Falsies is gonna be the one for you. Okay, and I have one more to try. I have the CoverGirl Cleantopia Mascara. So this is interesting. It's made with all clean ingredients. Let's see what they say. I did pick it up in the shade 800 Extreme Black. It says that this is a plant-powered clean mascara. It has aloe leaf extract and ceramides and 100% plant-powered fibers. So I'm very interested to try this. I love clean products. And I love that the beauty industry as a whole is starting to come out with more clean makeup that looks really good. So I'm excited to try this one. I am going to try it on my left eye. I'm going to use some micellar water and remove my L'Oreal Telescoptic Lift since I've had that on the longest. And I'm going to put on the CoverGirl Cleantopia and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have removed all of my eye makeup off of my left eye, as you can see. I still have the Maybelline Surreal Falsies on my right eye. And this is what the Cleantopia looks like out of the packaging. And let's give it a shot. This is what the brush looks like. So it's a little bit bigger and it kind of dips in in the middle, a little bit different than the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little more curl. It did retain most of its curl, but We'll just curl it a little bit more. Okay. So putting on our first coat. Okay, this is just the first coat. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Let's go ahead and do a second coat and do the bottom lashes. Okay, I did have to wipe off some of my face makeup because I got it on my um, my bottom bag here. So um, that's why it's all red. But this is with two coats of the Clean Topia. Now, I don't think it works good for bottom lashes. So if you're someone who does your bottom lashes like I do, you're gonna need a different mascara for that. I think it it kind of, because the brush is so thick and big and the bristles are so close, it kind of clumps it together. I hope my mirror so you can see better. Um, so I don't think it's, you know, it works, but it's not um, my favorite for bottom lashes. However, the top lashes, this gives almost as much drama as the Maybelline Surreal Falsies and it's a clean product. I think it's very nice. And I actually have never been a fan of CoverGirl mascaras. I know a lot of people are, but I just have never been. Um, I've always, if I was going to buy a drugstore mascara, have preferred Maybelline mascaras. But this, I like, I like this one. So again, this is the Cleantopia, the CoverGirl Cleantopia, and this is the Maybelline Surreal Falsies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to film. I love mascara and um, it was fun to find some drugstore mascaras, some affordable mascaras that I really like. I really like both of these actually. I like the L'Oreal as well, but I definitely think that's for somebody who likes a more natural look. If that's you, you will probably love the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. If you like a lot of drama like I do, you're probably gonna want one of these two here. Um, but this was a lot of fun to film. I hope it helps you guys if you're looking for a new affordable mascara and have a wonderful day.